I have a word of direction to somebody who's watching me right now. Now the word is, do not trust everyone you meet. Because there are some people who have different agendas. There are some people who mean to harm you. So my brothers and sisters, don't tell everyone your secrets. Because there are some people who do not have the capability, the capacity to keep secrets. To keep important information about your family about your life so my brothers and sisters there are people who are waiting to use that information against you when you look at the enemy the enemy only uses he has a way of using that information you have given him against you so don't give important information about your family to the enemy be very careful who you speak to be very careful who you trust because not everyone is for you there are people who smile with you, people who pretend to be your friends, and yet deep inside their lives, deep inside their hearts, they are plotting your destruction. These are the same people that are responsible for your predicament. The more you tell them, the more you feed them your information, the more they fortify their strongholds against you. So my brothers and sisters, be very careful who you speak to even at your workplace. If it is work, speak to them about work. But don't just open yourself up and tell them about your past because they are against you. Not everyone at your workplace is against you. But there are some people who are against you. Even at your place of residence, there are people who are against you who have sown an oath to fight you. So be very careful. Walk prudently. Be prudent in everything that you do. Brothers and sisters, pray about that situation. Pray that God will reveal to you your enemy and how to come out. Because it's one thing to know your enemy, but it's another thing to know how to come out, how to have total victory over your enemy. I know some of you know who your enemies are. You are aware, but you do not know how to come out. You don't know how to defeat them. And the victory that you have your en uh, uh, over your enemy, it is not a physical victory. You don't just go and fight them physically. You take it to God in prayer. And God will give you the wisdom. The wisdom that is above every. You know, the wisdom of God is above everything. To an extent that when God blesses you with that kind of wisdom, your enemies will come to you to ask for advice. Just like Solomon. When you look at Solomon, when God granted him wisdom, his enemies came to him to ask for wisdom, to ask for direction. Look at the queen of Sheba coming all the way from different parts part of the world. And she came with precious stones, precious things, gold, silver, name it. She came and brought it to Solomon just to seek the wisdom of the great man, King Solomon. Brothers and sisters, this is the world that I have for you. Be very careful who you trust. The only trust that you should have is in God. Until next time, God bless you.